Hi friends, Miss Paul here. Today we're gonna talk about something called perspective. And perspective means how you see things. So we all see things in different ways. And when we look at artwork, um, the way you see an artwork is gonna be different from the way your friend sees an artwork or your teacher or your mom or dad or aunts or uncles because we are all different people right? We are all unique in our own way and we see things differently. So this story called Duck Rabbit, um, if you can notice here, this animal, hmm, is it a duck or is it a rabbit? Depends on how you see it. Um, so there will be two perspectives in this story and you'll see as I read the story. And then afterwards we're going to do a little activity. Okay, let's get started. Duck Rabbit. Duck Rabbit by Amy Cross Rosenthal and Tom Lichtenheld. Hey, look, a duck. That's not a duck. That's rabbit. Are you kidding me? It's totally a duck. It's for sure a rabbit. See, there's his bill. What are you talking about? Those are ears, silly. It's a duck, and he's about to eat a piece of bread. It's a rabbit, and he's about to eat a carrot. Wait, listen, did you hear that? I heard duck sounds, quack. That's funny. I distinctly heard rabbit sounds. Sniff, sniff. Now the duck is wading through the swamp. No, the rabbit is hiding in the grass. There, see? It's flying. Flying, it's hopping. Look, the duck is so hot, he's getting a drink. Yeah. No, the rabbit is so hot, he's cooling off his ears. Hey, look at the duck through my binoculars. Sorry, still a rabbit. Here, ducky ducky. Here, you cute little rabbit. Oh great, you scared him away. I didn't scare him away, you scared him away. You know, maybe you were right. Maybe it was a rabbit. Thing is, now I'm actually thinking it was a duck. Well, anyway, what do you wanna do? I don't know, what do you wanna do? Hey, look, an anteater. That's no anteater, that's a brachiosaurus. The end. Hey, look, a zebra. Okay, so you're going to need a piece of paper. This could be computer paper um, or any type of paper that you have, a pencil. You're gonna need, um, if you have a Sharpie marker, if you don't have a Sharpie marker, you could use a black crayon or a pen or whatever you, if you have markers, you could use markers. So we're gonna start with an oval in the center of our paper. Just take your time. You could always erase it and draw it again. Um, it does not have to be perfect. I'm gonna draw either the ears or the duck's bill. So I'm gonna pick one side of the oval and make a line that comes out, curves around and back in and out again. Okay, so this line here I'm gonna erase. All right, on the other side of my oval, it's just gonna have a little bump line that comes out and I'll erase here. Okay, and then I'm going to draw the next so two lines that come down from the center of your oval. And I'll erase this line. Okay. 
Okay. Um, the animal's eye, you're going to make it, it could be in the center of the oval, but I'm going to put it off to the left. Okay. And then I'll take my Sharpie marker and trace over my lines. And just take your time. All right, and I'll fill in the eye here. Okay, now I can take my eraser and erase any extra pencil lines I don't want. Okay. And next I'm gonna draw, you could draw whatever you want around your duck or your rabbit, but I think I'm gonna add some grass. So I'm gonna make these long thin triangles. They could go in either direction all around my duck rabbit. Okay, when you're done with that, think about what you want in your sky. Maybe I'll add a sun. Put some triangles around my sun. <laughs> If you want, you could just put lines going around it. Uh, and then maybe I'll add some clouds in my sky. All different sizes. Okay, and then I'm going to trace over my lines again with my marker. So we don't have a Sharpie. You could use a black marker. You could use a pen, a black crayon, whatever you have av available at home. Okay, I'm just going to trace these lines. And remember, if you don't like something, you could always erase and draw something else. And maybe I'll put a smile in my sun. Add some eyes. Okay, and then lastly, we're going to add some color. So maybe I'll use some different shades of green for my grass. Here I have a yellow green, and then I also have my regular green. Maybe I'll do a pattern with my colors, so I'll go back and forth. It's easy, easier when you just skip every other with one color, so you don't have to keep going back and forth with the different colors. I'm going to color in my sun. Maybe I can, after this, take some orange and blend some orange in with the yellow. Even blend every other triangle. Okay, and for the sky, um, a trick I like to do is 
If you don't want to break your pen, your crayon, you don't have to. You could color in the sky regularly. But I like to break my crayon into a smaller piece and then peel the paper. That way it makes it easier to color in a larger area faster. So I'll take my crayon on the side and rub the crayon around to fill in the sky. And also when you're doing a texture rubbing, you're gonna see um, what's underneath. Like when I'm rubbing with the crayon, I could see the texture on the table. So if you don't want there to be so much texture coming through, you could use the crayon regularly and not on the side. And what's fun about this is when you're finished, you can show your picture to your family and ask them what their perspective is. So ask them what they see. Do they see a duck or do they see a rabbit? And it's interesting to, to hear what different people see. You might be surprised at what they say. Okay, so now I'm finished with my duck rabbit and I'm ready to ask my family or friends, whoever is at home with you, what they see. You could even go on Zoom and ask your friends that way. Okay, have a great day.